right now at some dear king stats trying to read up read up on this story um not convention not a conventional story um I was trying to understand what happened between 2018 2017 Adam what's good uh with Mr. King um talk about a few things we'll get into a few things today man we might let y'all call in I don't know uh King me. <laughs> Might let y'all call in today, see what we got going on. Uh, but yeah, Mr. Derrick King has mm -hmm. decided between Miami and Arkansas. Um, seasoned quarterback, he's done something none of our quarterbacks on the roster have done. I mean, he commanded for 50 touchdowns at one point in time. Um, last year, him and his dad made a business decision, I'm guessing. And LSU, we beat our LSU 2, FIU, Randy. <laughs> we beat our LSU 2. I'm guessing last year, dad made a business decision, man. And um, they did their thing and decided to sit out. I, I, I was reading that a kid has had like two, two coaches, two or three different coaches, Three different office coordinators, man. Sound like you um turnover or something going on over there, man. Um, what's going on down there? What's up? But yeah, we're gonna talk about that for a minute. High Smith, um, the High Smith stuff is weird, man. I'm, I'm hearing that the High Smith stuff is happening. They're just negotiating right now. But I'm hearing that that stuff is happening. That it's going down. They're just in the middle of negotiating and it just ain't get signed. I don't know. I mean, that High Smith stuff is weird. But King, man, um, King, we got another quarterback in. I guess they're going to have to fight for the position, but I don't see how you bring in a senior and I don't see how you bring in a senior. Hey, what's your question mark about the high stuff? <laughs> man, if you were, what I've heard about the high Smith stuff, man, is that it, it was, it's in the works. It's lingering. They're trying to find out some things. I don't know, bro. That's what I've heard. I've heard from some of the same people who give us our information um, from the inside. Hold, don't hold your breath on that, brother. Um, but that's what I heard. Um, but at the same time, King. So, I mean, so I don't see how you bring in a senior quarterback and then he's not going to be like... Uh, like, he doesn't have dibs on the position. Um, that's going to be hard to say, hey, we're going to get in the quarterback battle with best man win. I don't know. Fit many coaching for his life. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but, I mean, it was Manny's first year. First year head coach. Um... It was his first year. I mean, so Manny, Manny's going to take his bumps, his lumps. The same thing, the same way we're seeing things happen, Manny's watching it happen at, the, at real time for the first time. The same way we're watching it happen for the first time. He's never been a head coach before. So he's watching it happen at the same time. You're watching hit the like button, man. Hit share for us. Make sure you subscribe and hit the alert bell. But, yeah, uh, I might take some calls, man. I hear y'all cell phone up. Y'all can hear yourself on the live. Who want to call in, man? Thumbs up, man. Who want to call in, ask some questions, or, 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 or say your thoughts? If you want to give your thoughts on De'Aaron King and what you think, we still got the same, but well, we got a new officer coordinator. But, I mean, same culture, same head coach. Um, we got a new quarterback. We got a quarterback that has proven that he can put the ball in his own. So, some of these comments. <laughs> How you feel that the spread is finally in Miami? We can get a lot of Tutu at running around in the backyard. <laughs> I 
I know the spread is definitely here. Um, I don't know. Man, but remember the things we were hearing off season last year, uh, like uh, oh the offense is different, a bunch of motion, and this that, and it seems as if when it's go time, things are not what they're saying they are. But listen, last year got to run the spread. We just went and got a spread quarterback. Obviously, we're going to be wide open. Jay, what's good? Nikosi, I don't, I don't think Nikosi, I don't think Nikosi going anywhere. But I don't see how um, you get this quarterback and How do you get this quarterback on campus? And get him to commit to you, not LSU, not Arkansas, or whatever. By saying, hey, man, it's your senior year, but you're going to fight for a position at the University of Miami. Well, we just went for uh, six and eight. And what the fuck I reckon with us? <laughs> I'm almost sure. I mean, the, 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 I mean, in the Kosi, like, it, the cards are stacking against Nikosi, Williams, Tate. It, it, it has to be. I mean, this is this guy's job to lose. It got to be. I don't care what they say out of their mouth. Bet that up, Chuck. Any news on wide receiver coach? Nah, no news on wide receiver coach yet. Uh, we may be getting a assistant in. Um, we were hearing that Hippolyte, Benedict Hippolyte from Florida Memorial is being looked at to come in as an assistant, um, but nothing on wide receiver coach yet. I mean, does it matter? I don't know. <laughs> but wide receiver coach may matter. Um, but yeah, give me a thumbs up. If you want to call in, man, tell me what you think about De'Aaron King. If you think he can get the thing turned around, you think we, we're a gunslinging quarterback away <laughs> from turning this thing around, that's your thoughts, man. That's what you believe. If you want to call in, give me a thumbs up in the comment section. And, um, I'll put, I, I put the number up there that you guys call. But yeah, if you're watching, hit the like button. Uh, hit subscribe. It's free. It's free to subscribe. It's not going to charge you anything. You see the Super Bowl hat. You got Kansas City and San Francisco going down. It's going down in the Super Bowl in Miami. Boy, I was dreading Tannehill come back down here to the Super Bowl. That would have been a slap in the face face. Tannehill would have come back to South Florida in the Super Bowl, and we couldn't get out the first round of the playoffs with dog. You say Douglas was a good wide receiver coach? Uh, I think Douglas I think Douglas was straight. I think he was cool. So no thumbs up. So nobody don't want to call in. Nobody want to call in. Tell me what you think about Darren King. Oh, okay. I thought y'all would be dying to call in. Everybody asked me, football bill, we ain't going to get the call in show. <laughs> we ain't going to let us call in. <laughs> I thought y'all would be dying to call in. Yeah, you're right. King is only one year. Um, yeah, you're right. King is only one year. Um, that that might that that could be the plan. The coach to get a chance to sit there, learn a little something, and and ride out the next year. Uh, so y'all don't gave up on Tate, huh? <laughs> Guess if y'all don't gave up on Tate. <laughs> That's it for old Tate, huh? That one drive killed it. Show the boy. You think King gonna show out? Think King gonna show out Florida boy? I don't know, bro. I don't know. Oh man. Ugh. Let me see what other comments are here. You watch it, hit the like button, man, and subscribe for us. Man, put you, put you take that wide receiver, man. Y'all, y'all dead on take, man. Y'all dead on take. H Town is sending to you, a <laughs> fifty touchdown quarterback. 
And I was reading up on King, man. I like it that his dad handled, handled the business last year. Because every now and then in life, man, you gotta be, I think you have to be uh, selfish. You got to do things for you, your reasoning, um, to help you. Everybody around you doing stuff to help them. Coaches splitting, going here. Coaches signing contracts, sitting in front rooms, telling parents they're going to be with your kid for the next three, four years. And in two years, he's gone. Out. Looking at you, telling me this is a business. Your child sitting there with a new head coach. You never even met the guy before. So, man, I mean, kudos to these parents making these business decisions for their kids. I don't have a problem with it. That's if you read the King um, story. Like, if you look at his stats, it look weird. Like, he threw for 36 touchdowns uh, one year. Then last year, three games, six touchdowns. You got it right. Don't count Perry out. Well, I, I think Kosey has some time. Like somebody just said in the comment section below, Kosey has time. I mean, so he has his, Kosey has time. I don't see that quarterback coming here and them allowing him to get beat out. No, I can see Kosey getting in the offense and learning the offense for a year, getting a little bit of burn, and then maybe finishing his career now that he got the offense the next year um, and finishing out his career. That's possible. That can happen. King only here one year. Yeah, King is a fifty hours, Miami boy. We got, we got, we got old gunslinging Texas boy coming in. Perry was a spring quarterback. He was never on the tape train. <laughs> Nah, King ain't our best wide receiver now. <laughs> nah, that ain't true. We got some boys that can ball for at wide receiver. We just got to get the offense together. Yeah, we got a new quarterback. Uh, true, true, true teller, man. That's my little brother, man. Y'all say what's up to my little brother. Truth teller, he drive trucks. Who knows where he at right now? Probably in Germany. Uh, not Germany. Probably in Canada somewhere. <laughs> he can't drive to Germany. Probably in Canada somewhere. But truth teller, that's my little brother, man. What you say, Bama? I hate one year fixing. Well, I mean, you wouldn't. Okay, so Bama, you say that. So you wouldn't take. You wouldn't take what Oklahoma did this year with their one year quarterback. Or the year before that, too, right? Like, you wouldn't take that? I mean, college, things have changed, bro. Like, things have changed. And when, when, when things change, you got to change with them. I mean, quarterbacks, kids, kids, kids are able to transfer now. Kids are able to transfer. They're able to get out and, um, and do their thing. So, I mean, you got to change with the times. Thoughts on offensive line. Don't mean a thing to have all these. What's good, Yellow? See, that, that's how you make it happen, Yellow. We appreciate that, bro. Thoughts on offensive line. Don't mean a thing if y'all have all these Ferraris and no Mac trucks. Well, we got a real offensive line coach now. <laughs> Back that up, Yellow. We got a real offensive line coach now, so I mean things may be getting better there. Um, as a whole, man, many trying to fill his way out. Man, you, we've all had new jobs before. We've all been had new jobs or got promoted, and it's the same thing. Things are rocky at first. We've all been through that. The Aaron King is arguably the most dynamic quarterback in college football. Mike, you think Mike? Mike, you think that how lived the Aaron King? You think that highly of Darren King? Mike, Mike, I want you to call in and tell me. Tell me why you think that highly of Darren King. Mike said Darren King is arguably the most dynamic quarterback in football. Is that what we got coming to Miami? Call me. Call me, Mike. 786-288-1775. Let me see if we get this going. 786-288-1775. Let me see if we can get you involved. Mike said De'Aaron King might be the one of the most dynamic quarterbacks in college football. That's what we got coming to Miami. That's what we got coming to Miami at big time. Go 
Well, Mike, 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 if you can, give me a call, man. 786-288-1775. Being many a fraud, <laughs> yeah, I love Nikosi, man. What is it about Nikosi that y'all love? I mean, Nikosi has came in and um, saved, saved, saved a couple of games. Um, Darren, you said you're on waiting see mode. You ain't going for it, huh? Well, Montre, Montre, that's interesting you say that. Montre said King had one good year, 2018, and then he quit on his team last year. Montre, I think I think King had like three different offensive coordinators. I think he had like two different head coaches or something like that. Um, if that's your child, right? If if King is your child and he's a quarterback and you think your child can play on the next level. At what point do you take your child's future in, this, in, this, in, in your hands and stop putting it in the hands of a machine that you feel that's not working for you? Jay, what's up? Right, like, like you can't always go with, the, go with the flow. I mean, everything that happens to a kid in college football is impossible. It's not all good. I mean, I, I'm, I'm here to tell you, like, college football fails some, fails some kids. I honestly believe that some kids arrive to college football. Some kids arrive to college football better <laughs> than they end up leaving. I honestly believe that. Some kids arrive to college football and they leave in three years, and college football has wiped out everything they learned and how they were taught to play, and they leave worse. If you don't believe me, hey, listen, you can't tell me that. Those seven kids that we took from Northwestern, Miami Northwestern, they all couldn't play. Can't tell me that. You can't tell me all of them couldn't play. Ja'Cory, Forsen, uh, Aldaria, Streeter. You can't tell me all those kids up. So sometimes you got to take your child, pull them back. Pull them back. Say, hey, let's figure this thing out. We got one or two more shots at this thing. Let's figure it out. Houston failed us. Florida State failed us. You know what I'm saying? Miami failed us. I really do. I, I really do believe that there's kids out there that I know. There's kids out there I know could play for a fact, right? In college football on Saturday, they look crazy. They look like trash because what quarter because what coaches are asking them to do. Sean Spence could play. Sean Spence could play. But even Sean Spence, right? Even Sean Spence looked mediocre at Miami. With all his talent. He looked mediocre at Miami. All Darius could play. There was no doubt in my mind that Street could play. Ja'Cory Harris could play. Ja'Cory Harris came to Miami his freshman year and they were talking Heisman because he came here ready to play. Then Jeff Fish picked him up. And then all of a sudden it looked like he could play again. Then Jeff Fish left. <laughs> Man, listen. AJ was five. <laughs> Forsen was they all were, they all were eh. They all were this, they were all were okay. None of them stood out. Nobody stood out under Randy. I mean, Randy was a new head coach. You, you gotta be able to get a staff around you that's gonna develop kids. They all were mm, mm, mm. I wouldn't say great. You say you think Spence looked great? I think Spence, Spence was a little bit above average here. But we knew Spence. You put Spence in another system at the time, and, 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 and Spence would look like a superhero. Out of all those, and, and that, that's, that's all I'm saying. I mean, I think college football, college football doesn't work for everybody. Some kids go to schools at the wrong time. Uh, glue hands, glue, glue hands back in the hood, man. Um, he's doing his thing. He got a son. 
He got a son that's, what, 11 you, 11 years old, and they got a team that may be the number one team in the nation in Washington Park. So Blue Hands, Blue Hands is, is focusing on their son now, man. Their son can play. He plays with De La Sun. De La Sun is the quarterback. And you have Nitro Sun. Is the, I mean, they got a nice little squad. If you're watching, hit the like button for us, man. If you want to look down, if you look down, you can see the, you can see the hoodies down there. Get your hoodie or two. Support what we got going on. Um, football field, we out here. We're going to start doing it. Try to do this more often. But I'm going to start trying to, I'm, I'm going to start doing this, not only for just the Hurricanes, though. I'm still going to start talking about college football, period. Um, and other subjects, things to help kids get to school and help single moms who don't know anything about football. So we're going to start doing it. I may, may come back on here and go live again tonight one more time, talk about some other things. But we're going to start talking about college football across the landscape. Um, no news on High Tower yet. That's my dog, though. I love High Tower. I hope High Tower come back. Come back, High Tower. Come back. No news on the wide receiver coach yet. Tim Burns Jr. Well, teams, I appreciate that, man. But, I mean, well, this, this is the background on Footballville. See, Footballville started, okay, I'm going to give you all a quick story about Footballville. Five years ago, um, I took my daughters out to, I took my daughters out walking and came back and I had a bunch of phone calls on my phone and it was their mom. Their mom was mad because I forgot. I picked them up from daycare. I forgot to call her. I forgot to call her. She was mad, she was distraught, she thought I tried to take the kids from her, would never do anything like that. I gave her the kids back, well I called her, when I called her, the first thing I called her I said, first thing I said to her when I called her was, hey I'm sorry, I forgot to call you when I picked up the kids, right? So I called her, I'm going to give you a quick story on football, but he said I'm one of the most knowledgeable bloggers, I'm going to explain to you why. So I called her and she's crying because she thought I went and got the kids from daycare and I wasn't going to give them back to her. So I gave her back the kids and then I didn't see my kids again consistently or for the next two years. So I was forced. So one day I was sitting on the bed like angry, pissed. She done took my kids. She don't want me to see them until we go to court, yada, yada, yada. Um, and I said to myself, I was smart, there has to be a positive in this. It has to be a positive. Some way, me not seeing my kids, what is the positive? And the first thing I came up with was that I had free time. I had two daughters. She no longer was letting me see them, so now I was free. I used to be at all my daughters' PPO cheerleading, all my daughters' stuff, but now I was free. I, she wasn't letting me see them, so now I was free. I mean, we had to go to court. That's the only way she was going to let me see them. So, I'm not that I'm free, I started saying, what is it I would do, like, what is something I'm passionate about, I like doing. I started recording my homeboy son, Jalen Falk. <laughs> Jalen Falk played with PPO Eagles with my cell phone. And one game he ran somebody down, a little kid got loose, Cooper City, and he ran them down. Um, I put it up on YouTube. And I realized that there was a market for it, that people wanted to see you football. So I started, which was called Footballville. I started Youth Footballville. That's what it was called at first. I had a plan to go, and then I, then I started going to the high school games. I was real close with Duke Johnson's mom. And I had a segment of it called Dolo Camp. You can type it in YouTube if you want to. I would go to the games and put the camera directly on whoever the star player was, which was mostly time Duke Johnson. Now, I went on his game. I, I would go to the games and just put the camera on Duke Johnson, and I would call it Dodo Cam. You go to Dodo Cam, type in Dodo Cam, Duke Johnson, you may see film of Duke Johnson you've never saw before. That's how football goes, and, and that's how it started. But what I realized was that Duke Johnson was so good that Dolo Cam only worked. 
Dolo Cam only worked with Duke Johnson. See my little brother laughing because he, he was there, you know, when I started. Duke Johnson get the ball two, three times, third time he's going to break. Dolo Cam only worked with Duke. I put the, the Cam on Northrop, Tracy Howard. He was a cornerback, though, so that didn't really work. Him versus, um, what's the kid with the LSU, his little brother. I put the camera on Northrop. If you go look at the video, type in Dolo Cam Northrop. The comments are hilarious because Northrop kind of gave up the linebacker from Florida State in the middle of state championship game. Kind of gave up, wasn't playing anymore. But but back to what you were saying, please fast forward. It's because Footballville was started with youth football, and now those kids that I covered were kids as I grew. They grew. So those kids are now Artie Burns. Those kids are now Duke Johnson, but they're not kids anymore. So, I mean, so it, you got to understand, it, it was started, it was grass, it was started from the ground up, um, from the, off the muscle. So it's not like me reading a bunch of articles, getting on here and regurgitating what I've read because I've done more research than you've done. My knowledge comes from me actually just being around the kids and the kids wanting to be on football field. Um, so yeah, that's a quick story about football field. So you understand why I seem to know more about the kids than most people. Um, uh, all this keen stuff sounds a little queer. Yeah, so that's a quick story on, on, on football field and, 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 and why I seem to have insight on kids. No, I'm not some, I'm not some uh, uh, kid stalker. I mean, the kids gravitate to Footballville because they want to go viral. They want to be on the Instagram platform, and they, and they appreciate that Footballville covered their youth football games when there weren't many outlets to cover their games or cover their high school games, and there wasn't many outlets to cover their high school games. So yeah, man, that's why. I'm one of the most knowledgeable ones because I'm here, right here, in the middle of the trenches, getting it in. Okay, that was my little tear dropping story or whatever, bro. Let's see, man. Any chances we could get still Leonard Hankerson from the small school here? You want Leonard Hankerson as a quarter? I see Leonard Hankerson all the time on the sideline, man. You want Leonard Hankerson as a, uh, as a wide receiver? Coach? Why we can't get our dog back from Tennessee? Where, he, where is he? What's, what's, the court, what's the coach went to Tennessee on us? Right, Teddy Bridgewater. Right, right. All, all those, all those kids. They're now in the league, but in their heart, they know for a fact that they remember football players. Like Artie Burns would come up to me and be like, "Hey, we gonna we come record our seven on seven game?" Like, <laughs> so I mean, yeah. So that's why. I seem to be more knowledgeable or more in, in tune when it comes to the players. Because I'm right here. I'm in the middle of it. We grind. We get it on. Michael stopped it. Let's see. You say Michael stopped it. Back that mm -hmm. up. Yeah, I feel that. Uh, Chris, I don't, I don't think anybody's hating. Who, who's hating that we got King? I mean, the, the fact of the matter is, is that I honestly don't think the quarterbacks that we have are horrible. This is what scares me. What scares me is that Manny Diaz goes on public and talks about the quarterbacks that we have. Like, yeah, we got a quarterback problem. Damn. And unless he's talking about some off-field stuff, which I've heard some off-field stuff about quarterbacks. I've heard that they just totally gave up on Enos, bro, like, I was coming to the game at the party, like, man, uh, so I've heard some. So, so if he's talking about off the field stuff, then, uh, you know, maybe he's trying to make one or two of them leave. I don't know. But, I mean, I don't, they're both four-star quarterbacks. Y'all recruited them. I mean, so, they, they better not be that bad. Or my thing is, y'all can't evaluate quarterbacks. Yeah, Crenshaw. I mean, we got a quarterback coming in. Lashley and King, they got to make the thing work, bro. They, they have to make it work. It's just hard for me to believe that Miami, it's hard for me to believe that Miami can have a high scoring 
off and, and, and be bad as a team. I just think that it might have to score points. Okay, let's do this. When have we ever had a great offense and our defense just was horrible? When? When, when did that ever happen? Like, when did we, when did we like, score average 30 points a game, 28 points a game, and our defense just was, man, help. <laughs> Maybe when Donna Forio was here, but it's just hard for me to believe that we can get it. If we can get a, a coach in here that can put up 30 points a game, 28 points a game, it's hard for me to believe that our defense will suck with the athletes that we put on the field. 2014, talk to me. Under Golden, our offense was averaging how, how much did we average under Fish? Fish was Golden or Fish was Randy? Fish was Randy. How much did we average under Golden? You trying to tell me uh, Georgia guy was lighting up the place? What his name was? What his name is at Golden? I have Georgia right now, the, the, the offensive coordinator. So Al Golden days, our defense was horrible. I do remember that, down the four years. But was our offense, Fish was Golden? Coley. Coley. They're trying to tell me Coley was averaging how many points a game? About 30 points under, under Coley? Oh, Lord. And our offense was that bad under Donna Forio. <laughs> Donna Forio is an outlier. Let's get him off the stats. Let's erase him. Let's erase him. Hey, come on, let's erase him out of history books like they do some of our black history stuff. <laughs> Donna Forio was an outlier. That's never going to happen again. So Fish was, so fish was golden. We were just talking about that, that Duke Johnson last year with Philip Dorsett and, 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 and the offense. And, yeah, and the defense sucked. So, but we're, I don't that's done the Forio stuff, man. That's not ever happening again at UM. The defense is so complicated. You got NFL players can't even understand damn defense. Hey, from Dimitri, what's going on, bro? I'm chilling. Y'all want T. Martin, that wide receiver coach, man? T. Martin should be about to move up the head coach by now, should he? He's at Kentucky for a while. Will Eford come back? I spoke, Eford was at my make a play tournament. You see the make a play, you see the make a play banner out there. You see the make a play banner. Eford was at my make a play tournament Friday night. Uh, Florida Lightning, they had a pretty loaded team meet. They got some of everybody on their squad. Um, Eford said, Eford said, told me that the reason he decommitted is that the things look, things are looking shaky at, at the court, at the coaching position. Like when he come in two years or whenever he graduates, that he's not sure that the coaching staff will be there. And I, I agree with him. I agree with him. Listen, Fred Eford, Fred Eford. I've heard, if you can get it straight and narrow and only in the class, in the classroom, off the field, which I've heard he's doing a lot better, on the field, Fred Eford is unguardable. I, I haven't seen any, and, and he makes it look so effortlessly. With Fred, Fred, Fred Eford is one of those special talents at wide receiver, and he will soon have an Alabama offer. Watch. Man, if we ever, if we can get if we can get 40 points, Cynthia, a game, 10 wins. If we can get an offense that's getting 40 points a game, 10 wins. I'm sorry. I, I'm not buying it. I don't, I can't. Well, we still got Brantley, right? I don't know about Brinson. Uh, Brinson might be in the cloud somewhere. I don't know about Brinson. <laughs> Brinson may be gone. Brinson is going to be another one of those once in a lifetime. He's going to get his Alabama off and I just think he, he can go anywhere. So why go to a place where we're trying to figure out what we're doing on offense? It, it just doesn't make sense, bro. I'm, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. 
I'm always gonna keep it real with y'all. I talk to these kids, I see these kids. Miami got King and the Kosi competition. But I think the way they sold this thing was we're gonna have King this year, the Kosi, we're gonna let you learn the offense, and then we're gonna let you loose on college football your last year. That's I, that's what I'm thinking. I, I don't see no way that kid come no way that kid come here for his senior year and not gonna start. I don't see that happening. I don't know how that could happen. That don't make sense to me. But listen, hey, y'all stay locked in with me. I'm gonna come back tonight. Like I said, we're gonna start doing all football talk, all college football talk, maybe even some NFL talk. Uh, we're gonna start doing this more often. I'll give you a couple more stories. Go check out the podcast if y'all haven't seen me and Najee Davenport on the podcast yet. Clip is right down there. Go check it out. Very interesting story about Devontae Freeman and how Najee tried to get you with him to get Devontae and why you and wasn't recruiting Central Kids. It's the most funny stories. And we give y'all a top five trash pile. Y'all stay locked in, man. Football video. Hit subscribe. Hit share. Hit that alert bell. Football video, man. We out here, man. We stay out here.